In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine a network navigator uh, network analysis link chart with a map. And what you get is a really interesting effect where you're able to analyze relationships between different attributes in your data set and then also view those in a spatial context. So here on the left, I have some jobs that I pulled from Indeed, and these job titles are tied to the state that they are uh, actually in. So whether or not they're uh, remote is, is kind of up in the air, but we, we have here, you know, if this, the job listing said, hey, this is in California, if it's remote or not, um, we got some jobs over here that are clustered around California and then Tennessee and, and all the states that they were listed in. So you see we have some big clusters here. One is New York. That's one of the biggest clusters. And the way I can interact with this, like let, let's say I want to look around here. And even though this is kind of uh, it's kind of crunchy here, I can say, hey, this is data scientist monetization strategy, strategy and analytics. Let me click on that job. And then I can zoom over and see that that map and the way I have this symbolized over here on the right hand side is set so that um, green means that there's actually more money by average for these job roles in that state. So that's a uh, interesting deal. So a blue would be less money on average and then green will be higher. So let's go over and uh, actually just click on a state. So let's say I'm actually looking to go and um, work in Michigan. I can see that I don't have a lot of options right now in the job search, right? I could say I have three, great. And let's say I wanna go over to Texas, right? Texas is green. There's a handful of, of you know, higher end jobs in this area that I'm looking at. Some interesting titles here. Um, you know, let's say something with AI ML hits my eye, right? So uh, this is how you can interact with it. Uh, that scale, right? You can see where most of the jobs are at. And if you say, well, you know, I want to go be an outlier. I want to go work, see what's going on at Oregon. You could also click on Oregon and you could, you know, go check out what they have. And the rest of this video, I'll show you how to build that out. All right, cool. So we'll just open a new page here. And what I'm going to do is click on my network navigator. First to talk briefly about how I got here. All I did was I have an account with Power BI. I click get more visuals and then I search for network navigator. So this is a Microsoft network link analysis chart and just pull that in and it'll be available here for you. So what I did right there is I added the job title and the job state as my source node and my target node. And you can see right now I don't have um, quite the representation aesthetically that I do over here. And I think actually we're gonna we're gonna modify this a little bit. I think maybe I might have misspoke when I said title then state. I think maybe it's state and title. We'll try that. Reverse. Yeah I think that's it. Alright cool so we got the title and the state. We can kind of leave the rest of these alone for our purposes for this example. Link to the data set will be in the description here. And then I'm going to go over to format my visual and I'm going to say uh, in the layout, which is basically where all the magic happens, I'm going to want to turn on labels. So right here, I've got some labels. As you can see, I have the states in here in the center and then the job titles are the longer ones. Unfortunately, we can't do much for the the length and the clustering of the the text that kind of It's just an unfortunate representation there, but we can turn these to something like a blue and Then we can turn the font size up or down as needed. I'll kind of tweak that just a little bit and then from here we could go to the um, the next tab the the general tab and then go in, let's, let's change the background to just something a little bit darker. Cool. And so from here, let's just click off of that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll say filled map. And when we say filled map, we'll say job state. And then here we have the states. 
And then what happens is if I select anything inside of here, it'll automatically zoom right over to where that context is spatially. And you're gonna to wanna to be careful just if anything um, seems to mess up, you're just gonna to want to uh, just click select and then unselect. All right, now to have these polygons, I wanna have the green ones be the most money and the blue ones be the ones with the least money. So what we can do is select our map and then let's go over to format and fill colors and then we can click on conditional formatting and here we can say format style gradient and we can base that on in our data we have a top range salary and we can just say average and we could start out with a like a light blue and then the highest value would be this green green for money and we can add that and then we have that effect. Now this is just the highest average, so be aware of tweaking that so that it's you know more accurate. Look through the table and make sure this is all um, accurate to your your data if you if you do something like this. The only thing I'm going to want to do from here is change the map settings to be like a, maybe a, I'll go with a grayscale just to have a little bit of a subtle base map here. And these labels look fine. I can actually take them off if I want to. Kind of up to me. And from there, the only thing that we would want to do is format our titles. And as far as titles go, we would just want to just make something simple here. And then just center that, give it a background, change the text color, increase this a bit, and then do that on both. But yeah, you're basically done. So this is uh, just a, a quick way to have a a, uh, a breakdown and have a network represented and then be able to interact with that network in a spatial context here with the um, network navigator widget. So awesome. Thanks for watching. Be sure to link and uh, hit like and subscribe and have a good one.